Hi, Joe Peprocki here at my kitchen table, and I'd like to show you a couple of very simple ideas for religious education. The first is about teaching the Holy Spirit to young people. You know, Scripture uses many symbols to represent the Holy Spirit. Fire, a dove, wind. And one of those symbols, being wind, is also related to the breath of God. Uh, when Jesus breathed upon the, the apostles, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And the book of Genesis tells us that the mighty wind swept over the chaos, over the waters of creation, the breath of God. And so this idea of breath is related to understanding the Holy Spirit. So this is a very simple idea to help young people to understand how the Holy Spirit can be understood in terms of the wind and the breath of God. So in this idea, we're going to uh, make some little sailboats and our young people are going to do uh, sailboat races. And this is a very simple craft idea that uh, can be done on a dime and uh, very quickly as well without taking up too much time. You simply need uh, some pieces of uh, styrofoam. This was some styrofoam insulation that I cut up into pieces about oh, two inches long by perhaps uh, an inch and a half and a toothpick and a piece of construction paper and then eventually you're going to need a straw and a large tray filled with water and basically to get this little finished product here you just take the sail and the toothpick and you punch a hole through the bottom part of the paper and then move it up a little bit and punch again so that now you have the sail being attached to the toothpick as such and then you can just have them plant this firmly into their little sailboat or raft I should say and this is going to float nicely in the water. Now we're going to move over to the water pan and show you how a little race can take place. Okay so we just have a nice large uh, baking tray here, aluminum tray uh, filled with uh, well, about an inch of uh, water and the young people can take their little boats and uh, or rafts and put them into the water on one end and then you give each of them a straw and on the count of three they have to try to blow their little uh, sailboat or raft over to the other side so one two three there you go now this is how the other one goes let's see if kind of crooked but hey made it there after all the idea is that a sailboat can't work without the wind at its sails. So the point of course of our uh, little demonstration with the uh, sailboats is to remember that we can do nothing without the Holy Spirit and that we conspire with the Holy Spirit. If you look at that word conspire in the middle of it we find the root of the word spirit which comes from the Latin word to breathe and so to conspire actually means to breathe with and so in our lives we want to teach our young people to breathe with the Holy Spirit to understand that on our own we can do nothing but with the power of the Holy Spirit we can do so many things and so many wonderful things in the name of Jesus Christ it's also important in this demonstration to emphasize the fact that the Holy Spirit is not just some kind of an impersonal force like in Star Wars uh, but that the Holy Spirit is a person, a person of the Trinity. And with that in mind, let's talk a little bit about the Trinity and see an example of how we can help young people to understand the mystery of the Trinity in such a way that perhaps uh, will lead them to be a little less baffled about the notion of three persons in one God. And so what you see here in front of me are uh, three variations of H2O, of course, water as we recognize it most and then water in the form of ice and then this is a little humidifier uh, water in the form of vapor or steam you probably can't see the the steam coming up here but if we place this mirror on it we can tell that there is indeed steam rising up from this vaporizer and so we can see that H2O comes in three different forms and yet is the same substance uh, in essence 
And this can help young people to understand the Trinity as uh, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but being of, of one substance. And so once again, in talking about the Trinity, it's important for us to emphasize the fact that we are talking about a relationship. We're not talking about objects like water and ice and steam, but a, a personal God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We encounter this one God in three persons. And it's important for us to emphasize that the doctrine of the Trinity is not a mystery that is meant to befuddle us or to uh, confuse us, but to understand that God is in and of God's self, total self-giving love, so much so that three persons are united so intimately that they are one God. Well, good luck with these ideas, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I'll let you know how they work with my own class. Thanks, and God bless.